Well, we did it again. Road trip. Today we made our almost daily trip to Capitol Hill where the members of Congress have been called back from vacation by Speaker Pelosi. Why? Well, to pass a $26 billion aid bill. The Democrats say it will send money to struggling U.S. states, saving teachers jobs and giving Medicaid to people who need it. What do the Republicans say? We asked House Minority Whip Eric Cantor about the bill and how he feels about cutting his vacation short. Why are we coming back to town voting on extension of stimulus bill? I don't understand it. All right, two questions. One, why could you have done it last week? That's the first question. And instead of dragging everybody else back, that's the first one. But the second one is $26 billion. Um, the president says it's, de it's deficit neutral. It's going to pay for itself. True or false? First of all, it, it doesn't pay for itself. Um, and th there are alleged pay-fors in the bill. And the way that they come up with the biggest uh, is um, they go for um, trying to impose a tax on job creators. I mean, they you'll hear many of the proponents of the bill talk about uh, the need for us to stop uh, shipping jobs overseas. But what this tax that they're imposing does is it imposes an additional cost onto foreign-based companies that have American facilities. So that means jobs in America suffer. So so that, that goes even to more of the question of what are we doing here? Why aren't we doing something to reduce the deficit? Why aren't we doing something to help the job creators? Instead, we're coming back into town, spending $26 billion to extend the stimulus bill, which by their own standards, the administration already has said the stimulus has failed. All right, in terms of paying for it, are you telling me that a company like, let's say, uh, uh, BMW uh, or Mercedes, and if they have a plant here in the United States, that in order to pay for this $26 billion, they're going to have to pay an additional tax. Right. The, the, this is why uh, the National Association of Manufacturers, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, people who represent small and large businesses say, wait a minute, this is bad. Uh, these taxes are not something we should be doing right now if you want us to create jobs. And again, it goes back to the point, we're, we're still at 10% unemployment. So, you know, again, it, it just begs a question about the priorities here. And I think it demonstrates, again, the difference between the two parties as to what we ought to be doing for the people that elect us. Well, it's hard to say it's deficit neutral <clears throat> if we're going to take it out of, uh, the, in my example, the German manufacturer of an automobile, because I assume that means that they will consider how much investing they want to do in the United States, which which also has to do with auto parts and repair and gasoline. I mean, there's a little bit of a change. So it's not, say, it really isn't deficit neutral. Greta, look, it comes down to the fact that if the money, if you assume the money's going to be spent anyway, who do you want spending the money? Do you want the private sector to invest the money to create jobs in the private sector? Or do you want Washington to tax the private sector to spend money the way that Congress feels it ought to be spent? And in this instance, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats yeah. feel it ought to be spent to help the states and bail them out of their budget. It was. Unless, of course, you think that these uh, manufacturers, foreign manufacturers, are making a killing here in the United States, and we might as well tap in some of their money to help pay for our problems if it's not going to deter them or uh, uh, discourage them from investing. Again, do, does Washington think that it can create jobs uh, in any meaningful way? I don't think so. I don't think the American people think. So either we're going to say uh, that the private sector uh, is going to work for the public sector or the public sector is going to work for the private. I think it is the latter, that we and most people in America feel that this government serves the people and this government should work for the people and not the other way around. Okay. The $26 billion is to uh, pay for two things, teachers and Medicare, Medicaid, right? That's correct. Okay. Well, um, how is it that the teachers, with all due respect to the teachers, I mean, education is enormously important, but so are firefighters, um, other people work in the community. And I got a whole list of people um, in San Jose that just laid off 49 firefighters in El Mirage, Arizona, six firefighters in Malden, Massachusetts, 10 firefighters, Wymouth, Massachusetts, five. Cleveland lost more than 100 EMS firefighters. Patrolman. Tulsa, Oklahoma has lost 147, and it goes on. Firefighters. I mean, there are lots of people who are losing jobs. Why is it that the teachers are getting the, the, uh, the stimulus or the money or the, the help? One has to question the political motivation for identifying just one uh, area of the public uh, employee workforce versus another. What is it? I think is it, you think it's politics? I, it could very well be because as we know, you look at what Chris Christie's doing in New Jersey, he is taking the teachers union head on saying, look, we should be about the kids in the classroom, not about uh, making sure that the unions, wages, salaries, etc., uh, 
are satisfactory to, to union bosses. But the president had two teachers there today at the White House, and he said Please, that these that are the two teachers who help children. I mean, so he's talking about education. So is it about the teachers or it's, the children is, or the education? or? It is about uh, providing two states bailout money because they've been unable to address their budget woes for any number of political reasons. And you got to remember, I mean, money's fungible. So although that the a majority here says that this is money for teachers, that means that if the federal government supplies states with money for teachers, then states can go and route other monies elsewhere. And that's why some of the Democrats now are indicating, well, Republicans aren't even for us supporting public safety employees and the rest. That is all such a bunch of hogwash. You know, what we've got going on here is we are spending, we're borrowing and spending money we don't have. The public's on to us. They get that Washington is disconnected with the reality out there, and enough is enough. All right, the other question I asked you is that why now during the recess? Could this have been done last week, or did the Senate set the timetable, or could this be done, I guess, after it can't be when you come back from recess, it's school has started. Um, you know, what's the timing with this? Any significance to the timing at all? Well, I, I think, uh, again, the significant, the significant piece of the timing is it's prior to the election and prior to the election season in earnest, which is usually Labor Day in most states. Uh, and the reliance on many of those in the, uh, in the public employee union workforce uh, to, to uh, do what it is that perhaps the Democratic majority wants them to do in the election. I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of cynicism involved in all of this. And frankly, if you look at it in terms of timing and people going back to school and kids returning to the classroom now, most of the teachers that are going to be in those classrooms and most parts of the country have already returned to work. So it's not as if this money right now is going to be delivered to then say, hey, we've got teachers now finally and without it we wouldn't. Uh, it just makes no sense. I mean, all this again goes to the point that the Democrats are, are displaying their priorities for governing this country. It is not where most Americans are, uh, and it's high time that we fix this place, stop spending money we don't have, uh, and to try and get this economy going again. Congressman, thank you, sir, and thank enjoy uh, what vacation when you go back to vacation. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, brother.